Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Capral. I'm the Quality Engineer at Global Star, and today I'm going to be walking you through the activation, registration, and setup of our new product, SatFi2. When you purchase your device, your authorized Global Star dealer will activate it and send you the necessary instructions to register your device. The email you receive will resemble what you see here on the screen. and you should click the register now button to get started. At the registration website, mysatfi.globalstar.com, enter your credentials as they appear on the registration form that was sent via email. As the first step of your registration, enter a username, password, a secret question, and an answer. Click register to continue. Once you've entered your new account credentials, you'll be taken to this screen. Click Get Started to read five important steps before you begin using your device. Now that you have clicked through and reviewed the five steps, you can navigate My Account. Your options are My Devices, where you can see your activated devices, Settings and Billing, where you can make changes to your username and password information, and your billing information. You can also click the Help tab to receive help from Global Star. At this point, you can also click log out and begin setting up your SatFi2. To download the SatFi2 application, ensure that your Apple or Android is connected to either your cellular network or your home Wi-Fi. Open your Apple App Store or your Google Play application. Click in the search bar and type in sat sat space fi fi space 2 to search for the app. Click search. Click the SatFi2 icon to go into the app's in-store home screen. Then click install. Once downloaded, press open. The SatFi2 application will ask for permissions on your phone. Please allow all of these for proper setup and use of the device. Once you've allowed app permissions, the application will begin downloading necessary items for setup. This could also include device firmware updates, so please be patient as it may take a few minutes. Once the downloads are complete, click I'm the owner to set up your new device. Here you'll enter your username and password that you established during the registration portion of this video. Once complete, click Sign In. On this screen, you have the option to set up your Facebook or your Twitter, but I'm going to hit Next here, as we can set these up later. At this point, you're ready to connect to the SatFi 2's Wi-Fi hotspot. Let's set the device up to continue. The first thing you'll see in the box is the SatFi 2 Quick Start Guide. Everything in this video tutorial is reflected in the Quick Start Guide as well. Next, you'll see a guide that offers information about the emergency response services offered by GS. Lastly, information on Global Star's duplex warranty. And now we'll remove the unit. In this box here, we have the charging adapter and the charging USB micro cable. Once we establish the Wi-Fi hotspot connection and complete the application setup, we'll charge the device for use outdoors. So I'm going to hold the power button down for one second. And this is going to go through the boot up sequence. These lights should flash for about two to three minutes or so. And uh, once these uh, stop the sequence, we'll be ready to connect to Wi-Fi. So as you'll notice here, the power up sequence is finished. And now we have two blinking indicators. One is the power LED and the other is the satellite uplink. Uh, you'll notice this is actually blinking red right now. Uh, but as I mentioned previously, our primary focus is to get the application set up right now and we needed the Wi-Fi hotspot. This is indicative that we are ready to complete the next steps and we'll focus on the actual uplink later on in the video. 
Now that the Wi-Fi hotspot is active, we can click Wi-Fi settings and find the SatFi broadcast ID, entering SatFi1234 as the password, which is the default. Click connect to continue. Press the back button on your phone to go back into the application. At this point, hit I'm connected. As a validation, the SatFi app asks you to type in admin. Type in admin, click done, and then validate. As previously mentioned in the video, the application may have downloaded the firmware update. Click start update to begin the process. The application may ask you for permission to run in the background. Please click allow or deny depending on your preference. Depending on the size of the firmware update, this may take several minutes. Please be patient. Once the firmware on your SatFi is updated, the device will reboot. When you go back into your application, you'll have to click Wi-Fi settings and reconnect to the device's hotspot. Search for your broadcast ID ending in your last six of your ICC ID where the password should already be saved. Once connected, hit the back button on your phone to return to the device application. At the top of the screen, you'll see connected to Wi-Fi with your SatFi2 identification. At this point, you can click reconnect. A shutdown alert dialog may populate if the device completed a firmware update. Please click OK to continue to the application. At this point, you're ready to move your SatFi2 into a position where it has a clear view of the sky. Once you move the device into position, it'll make a connection with the Global Star Network. On your screen, you'll see a satellite indicator as well as bars in your RSSI indicator. At this point, you're free to use all of the device's features. So now you're all set up and ready to go. SatFi2 will give you the freedom to talk, text, email, post to social media, browse the web, and in emergency situations, send an SOS to Geos Emergency Rescue. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.